All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we are gonna talk about pinching fig trees once again. If you guys enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button or actually go over to our blog. We have all kinds of fig-related information there, figboss.com. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it. So today's video, as I said, is about pinching fig trees, but this one's gonna be quite different than any of the other pinching videos I've done in the past. We've actually done, if you can believe it, hours worth of video on pinching fig trees. It's a really important topic because, you know, it really is in its purest sense is you can boil it down to, you know, you're gonna remove the apical bud, you're gonna do some pruning on the fig tree during the growing season by removing the apical bud of pinching off the top, pinching off that growth point uh, with our thumbs, our fingers, pruning shears, whatever, we are then able to time the crop of our ripe fruits. And by timing the crop of our fruits is a lot of what we talk about here on this channel because, you know, if you can ripen your fruits at the warmest and the driest time of the year, you're gonna have the best quality fruits. And you're gonna be thanking me. You're gonna say, Ross, thank you for giving me the insight to then use this technique to actually ripen my fruits, let's say, out of monsoon season for people in Southern Florida. Um, for people like myself that are trying to ripen fruits as early as we can to avoid the cold fall weather and often uh, rainy cold fall weather. Uh, so we're trying to avoid the cold, we're trying to avoid the rain. Other people, let's say in the United Kingdom or the Pacific Northwest, you guys might very much so benefit from doing some pinching to not necessarily ripen main crop but actually to uh, help your Brava production. We're gonna cover the UK region um, and the Pacific Northwest. They're very similar in, in um, how you can grow figs because a lot of them in those climates, a lot of you guys are focused on Brava's, not the main crop. How can we pinch actually the new growth to help the Brava's? Well, there's something in here called uh, 6.2.4 in Ponza's book called Argentile pruning. And it's geared toward uh, obtaining Brabas early, although this means sacrificing the autumn harvest in bifera varieties or varieties that produce main crop. It consists of removing all the wooden terminal or apical buds at the onset of the vegetative cycle, eliminating all the wooden auxiliary buds from the branch after a few days and keeping two in the basal part. The aim is to get larger Brabas normally found at the end of the branch. Uh, this pruning takes place at the beginning of the growing season of the fig tree about February or March. So the beginning of the fig season can be very different for a lot of us, but February or March is uh, usually, I would say, probably in the Pacific Northwest when you're gonna start seeing your Brava swell. That's when you're gonna have uh, a lot of the branches start to open, uh, the nodes start to swell. So what Pons is essentially saying here, guys, is that along the apical bud, the bud that is the highest bud on the branch, if we were to remove that in the early spring, obviously we're not in the early spring. I have roughly three or five leaves on this particular branch. But if we were to remove this one, allow this lateral branch, which is further down along the branch, allow this to grow. He mentions to allow two of them to grow. So maybe this one would form. And then of course, maybe this one would form and we'd have our two. All the Brabas below that branch, let's say, this is our apical bud right here. We remove that. All of the brabas below will actually have more sap flow, more energy, get a larger size, and actually increase the fruit quality. So I think really with this knowledge, this is a great application for anyone in the United Kingdom, anyone in the Pacific Northwest that really wants to increase their brava production um, and wants to prioritize that. You know, that's a really great application for those particular people um, and obviously we can see now um, that pinching is not just as uh, one-sided as some may think. Thank you.